Hi guys, it is Sunday, May 1st, 2022, and I'm here to do my video. I just uploaded my March video yesterday. So, <laughs> I filmed it at the beginning of March, but I didn't, at the beginning of April, but I didn't upload it until yesterday. So, um, you're going to get two back to back. Um, maybe I'll upload this one in a timely manner. Uh, so... April was an okay month. It was kind of like March. Um, when you watch my March video, because it's only been up for like less than 24 hours now. Um, I talk in there on March. I went and got new glasses and it kind of disrupted my stitching for a little bit. Um, this month. I had something else that kind of disrupted my stitching. I got into a situation where I needed to get my house clean. Um, I don't talk a lot about it, but I think I've mentioned on here, my house was a disaster and the pandemic made it worse. And so um, I had some good help and I got it cleaned up and it looks great. My house hasn't looked this good in a long time. Um, I had some fantastic help because I really couldn't have done it by myself. Uh, now I understand why my mom is the way she is. But <laughs> I have a lot more sympathy for my mom now. So um, I had some fantastic help. And uh, so that took a lot of time and it took a lot of energy. It took a lot of focus away from stitching um, for a little while in the middle of the men's layer. And... Um, so, this last week I've been kind of in a rush. Uh, I've had to hustle to meet my goals. And I yesterday was the last day of the month that I met. You know, I finished my goals yesterday. Um, so, hopefully this month will be better and I won't have some interruption in the middle of the month. Um, anyway, so I've been doing some stitching. I've done less shopping. I don't have a whole lot of, of hauls to show. I have some stuff that's on the way, but it's not here yet. So you'll see that next time. Uh, so this might be kind of on the shorter side for video. Um, but I'll show you what I've been doing. And we'll talk about plans. And we'll talk about categories. And yeah. So um, since this is out first. I will show this first. Um, I stitched on this. I did 353 stitches. This is under the evergreen by Teresa Winsler. And let's see if I can find something to put behind it. Um, is that better? Um, this is under the evergreen. I'm working on that tree up there. I did 353 stitches in shades of green. That tree is full of confetti. Um, I was stitching it. We'll talk about this a little bit. I was stitching it uh, block by block. Like, not stair steps like Jessie Marie, but like block by block in a column. And I think I'm going to change to kind of cross country by block because... It's frustrating since I'm counting stitches. It's frustrating. Oh, there's four stitches. Oh, there's seven stitches. Oh, there's nine stitches or two stitches or six stitches. And I'm trying to get to 300 this way. But, you know, five and seven and ten stitches at a time. And if I go down the entire column, at least then I can get to 15 or 20 or 25 stitches at a time. Instead of just these tiny little numbers that I have to keep adding up. So, I think I'm going to do it that way. There's... I think there's three columns. There's this column, I think there's a column here, and then I think there's a little column right here to finish the tree. This is the teddy bear, and um, and then I'll go back and put the candy canes and the ornaments and the gingerbread men and stuff on the tree. But, so, I'm making progress. So there's Under the Evergreen by Teresa Winsler.
So the next thing I worked on, well, it's not the next thing, but the next thing I'm going to show you is Temperature Tree by Stitch and Mommy. I am still so far behind on this. Um, I did work on it, and I'm a little bit closer to caught up, but I'm still behind. Um, so I did... Uh, I did, I still have to do some of the February leaves, but I put in the March branch and I put in some of the April branch, but I still have to do some of the February leaves, all of the March leaves, all of the April leaves, and now we're into May. I sat last night and I wrote down all of the temperatures for March and April. Um, and, you know, I, I live in Southern California. We don't have seasons here, and I'm a little bit concerned that my tree is going to be the same five colors over and over again. Because um, last night when I was writing them down, especially for April, I was writing down the same two or three colors over and over and over again. Uh, we had a day here where it got to like 97, so there's a little bit of variation, but yeah, I'm kind of concerned that it's going to be not very colorful. Uh, So this last. Okay. I'm missing a piece. What is What did I do with that other piece? Oh, here it is. All right. So let's go this one way. This one. This one just um, got added to my 22 and 22 this month. I needed um, something that I hadn't worked on yet in 2022. And I needed it for March, and I used a Stitch for Sweet Freedom. I needed another one for April. So I pulled Joy and the Journey in. And I've added it to my 22 and 22. And I did... 300 stitches on it. There we go. So I did um, most of that inside border, a lot of that brown on the inside border. Um, and I did, I had this part done where the, the I have the little flowers stems in the middle, but almost all of the rest of the brown border that doesn't have the stems in the middle I did. And I did, I came down the side here and did some of the screen border. So I was doing, um, so there's where Joy and the Journey is. I was doing the monthlies on, um, daily 30 group and those are 300 stitches and April's monthly was a spell out um, so it was you know connect your whip to the word or I mean to the letter it was Easter time and then you know tell us how you connected it to the letter and then do 300 stitches so that's why a lot of these have 300 stitches is because I was I was doing that um, spell out I also got a new bag for Joy and the Journey because it has bees on it. I put it in my beehive bag from Go Around Stitchery. I had it in the Spring Quaker bag, but this sort of felt more appropriate. I moved it. 
because you know I know y'all know how it goes your your project bag and your needle binder and your grime guard all have to match your project I know y'all know how this goes okay. so then I had a new start so I I needed a monochromatic piece for the categories for April one of the, the categories was monochromatic or small no it wasn't monochromatic it was small let's have a look see Let's have a look, see. Oh, it was both. They were both small and monochromatic. So I need small, I need monochromatic. And because the designer focus for May for Garan designer focus is Blackbird, I'm like, well, maybe I can find a Blackbird one because I finished my Blackbird with Moon Garden and I was looking for a new Blackbird start for Garand Designer Focus. And I also needed a small for my 22 and 22 because I had finished American Heritage. So I had space to start a small. And so I'm like, maybe I can find something that's small, it's Blackbird, it's monochromatic. And lo and behold, I came up with Bird in Hand. So I started Bird in Hand and I have it in this bag that I got from Emily and Diana at Mamalee. And, um, I did 300 stitches on this as well. And this is on some random piece of something from my stash. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a standard Zweigart fabric. It's not anything fancy. It's like, Zweigart cream or potato or something. It's not. Uh, so there it is. I'm stitching it in DMC 221. And that's where I got you. So I will work on this for Garand Designer Focus for Blackbird. And I think that I've decided I'm going to finish this, but. My next Blackbird start, whenever that is, maybe it'll be this month. I don't know when it's going to be. Um, I think it's going to be the winter is past. Okay. And the last thing that I stitched on, I was hoping to have a finish on this, and I did not, um, is Renaissance by Margaret Bendig. Again, this is an old guild piece. And I did 1,470 stitches on this. So So I was having this discussion with Anna Forrest. Um, I passed Laurel <laughs> and left all of the over one lettering to last. And I was discussing with Anna because past Anna has done things that current Anna and future Anna will not thank her for. I was discussing with Anna how Future Laurel will not thank past Laurel for leaving all the over one stitching the last. But at the beginning of the month, I started tackling the over one stitching. So I finished it and it wasn't really that bad. Um, the hardest part, honestly, was placing it. Margaret's instructions on how to place the, the lettering is not great. And it became obvious that, you know, as I worked with it, it became obvious that what she did 
was she put the center of the lettering in the center of the space. Um, so once I figured that out, it was kind of easy to figure out after that. Um, so it says, my soul is fed by needle and thread. So I did that, and it turned out not to be too bad once I got going on it. I did it, I think, in a few days. Maybe four or five days I spent stitching on it. And then I put it down for a while because cleaning and other pieces that I had to work on. But, uh, I started, I picked it up a few days ago. And I started working on the frame weight. So, I did that. And so, there's not very much stitching left. This, this goes, of course, on all four of these. There's a flower in each, inside each one of these. There's a little finial sort of thing at the, you know, end of each one. It looks like a finial, like you would put on a curtain rod. Um, so, there's not a lot of stitching left on that. And then, there's the front of the scissor fob, which I think might not even be 200 stitches. It's not that big. And, um, then you gotta hem stitch the back of the scissor fob and hem stitch the page, or then stitch the pages for, uh, the needle book. Um, and I got a nun stitch around, I got a nun stitch around the, uh, upside down, ah, I got a nun stitch around the man, the needle book too. So, there's not a lot of cross stitch left, but there's still some finishing work left. Um, I'm having a debate with myself about whether it's finished when I finish the cross stitch or it's finished when I finish this edging stitching. And I can see the argument that it's finished when you finish the cross stitch because the edging work is sort of FFOing work. And I see that. I agree with that. But I also feel like it's still kind of incomplete if I haven't finished the edging work. So I don't know. I'm, I'm debating with myself about that. So that is what I stitched on. Um... I did 2,700 and something stitches in April, which is not, it's, it's pretty average for me. Like, it's not bad. It's not my best month, but it, it could be a lot worse. It's, that's, that's pretty average for me. I usually try to, I like to get to at least 3,000, but I don't always make it. Um, so we'll try again in, in May. January was fantastic. I did like 3,700 stitches in January. It was fantastic. Or 3,600 and something. It was fantastic. Anyway, um, May plans. Um, categories. May categories. And again, you can follow along. Um, these categories are spun by Sammy at Sammy J Stitches. And... Um, you can follow along with her. Um, she sets a goal and then, you know, she spins the categories, the five categories. Um, she sets a goal at 5,000 and she tries to do a thousand on every category. I don't do it that way. Um, some of these projects I have no interest in putting a thousand stitches on. Um, and some of them, like Renaissance, I focus on harder because I'm trying to finish it. So like this month, most of them only got 300 stitches. And um, Renaissance got 1,400. Um, this month's category is Stitcher's Choice. That's going to be Renaissance because I'm trying to finish it. And that's my goal for that this month. I want to finish the... I want to finish the frame weight and the scissor fob. And the finishing work will probably become a work project. That would be fantastic to see for to do all that then stitching. Um, the small is going to be 
bird in hand. Full coverage is going to be under the evergreen. The stitch along is going to be Joy in the Journey because I started that. That was my birthday stitch along in 2020. And so Natalie at Knitting Nat Stitches started it. And I think a couple, maybe a couple of other people started it. I know Natalie did. Um, other people started, you know, worked on other samplers or started other samplers. Alma started a three things sampler. Um, other people worked on other things, but I'm going to stitch on Joy in the Journey for the South. And then the fifth category is the longest it's been stitched on, and I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to skip that one. So, uh, there's the categories for May. I want to finish Joy in the Journey. I mean, no, I want to finish Renaissance. Um... I decided my goal for Joy in the Journey, if you watched my video that I posted yesterday, I was talking about how I want to start Lohi Seamoth Sleeping by Lucy Beam Love and Stitches. And I thought, well, you know, it would be a good trade. I don't have a sampler that I can finish. I'm not going to finish his eyes on the sparrow. I'm not going to finish three things sampler. Joy of the journey is, it's not a sampler. It's kind of a quasi in the style of a sampler. Um, so I thought, well, I'll, that'll be my trade. I'll finish Joy of the journey and I can start though he seems sleeping. And then I thought, no, you know what? I'll put a thousand stitches in Joy of the journey and then I can start though he seems sleeping. So I've done 300. I'm going to do some more this month. Um, I was talking to Beth Ann, who is, said she's going to start Three Things Sampler for Sampler September. And I'm like, oh, well, Sampler September would be a good time for Doki Seema Sleeping. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll start Doki Seema Sleeping now and I'll start a different one in September. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, because I have a lot of sampler patterns. I have some Hands Across the Sea patterns. I have the Uffindel Sisters. I have, uh, Anne Grimshaw, which is not Hands Across the Sea, it's Scarlet Letter. But I have, um, Miss Marianne Bourne. I have the Pink Sparrow sampler. I have Nancy Alden. I have a lot of sampler patterns. Um, I have the Lucy Boom one that, uh, Vicky at Stitch and Button gifted to me. I have a lot of samplers, so... Maybe I'll start Loki Seema sleeping for my birthday or something, and then who knows. Um, anyway, uh, so I forgot where I was going. <laughs> so categories, Finnish Renaissance, Joy in the Journey, um, maybe Finnish Bird in Hand. It's not that big. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll finish that in June. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's about my plans. Um, yeah. So I have a little bit of haul. Um, not a lot. So, I got my April Bird Crush from Stephanie. It is so pretty. The April Bird Crush. And everybody in the group has received this. I shouldn't be spoiling this for anybody. Um, the May Bird, my May, my May Bird Crush is going to be here this week sometime. This is the, I try not to lose all the stuff that she puts in here. The black throated gray warbler. I'm like, how pretty is he? He's so pretty. When I was, <laughs> when I was cleaning my house and sorting my stash, 
I was trying very hard to make sure that these didn't get thrown out because there were these brown envelopes and it would be really easy to mistake this for, oh, I already opened this. I don't need the envelope. So I had to be very careful that I didn't throw these out. And then exciting stash flash news. And a lot of you have already heard this. A lot of you have already joined the group. But our very own Sammy at Sammy J Stitches has started a needle workshop. And it's called Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. I'll put the link below. Uh, she has a Facebook group. And um, go on there and, you know, tell her what you want. She'll try to get it for you if she can. Um, but she's just starting out. And uh, she's, you know, she's off to a good start. Like, she's doing well. And, of course, I had to order from my friend Sammy. So, go on there and join her group and show her some love. So, I bought um, That Love Rain by Teresa Kogut. And this, this has a couple of other cute projects in it. I mean, it has the big sampler, of course. But it has this little heart that says, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. It has, oh, well, there, they're on the back. And it has this family sampler down here. I think, I thought there was one more project in here. I thought there was another project in here. Um, so, Let Love Rain by Teresa Kogut. I got the Hummingbird Sampler by Heart and Hand, which I'm thinking when I finish um, Bird in Hand, I think this might go in the small slot on my 22 and 22. Because, you know, her shop is called Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery, so how is she going to not have a hummingbird design available? Um, and, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me not show you the pattern. <laughs> My intent was to show you that it comes with these little buttons here. <laughs> um, that's what I was trying to show you. So... Hummingbird sampler by Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. Um, by... Words are hard, people. Hummingbird sampler by heart and hand that I got from the Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. That's what I'm trying to say. I got... The Scarlet, uh, the Coverlet Houses by Scarlet House. And you guys can give me an opinion on this. Do you like the top one better where the buildings are in the negative space? Or do you like the bottom one better where the buildings are in the positive space? I kind of like them both. Like, I feel like I need to stitch them both. Because it's the same pattern, but they're still, they're very different. The one that attracted to me to the design actually was the top, um, but I really like the bottom too. So. And my first cottage garden sampling, I got the ferret. Like I think I need to have all of these because they just put out number six, the bear, and they're all just adorable. Oh, and then I got Honey Bee Scissors from Minky Dyes. Um, I have that honey bag that I got from Stitch and Button, and I want to stitch the High Rules by Cottage, Hermos Cottage Stitches, so I think this will go in there. 
And then, Sammy, she sends you boss card, Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. And then she was kind enough to give me Merry and Bright. So, go, go check out her shop. Go show her some love. I'll put the link below, Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery on Facebook. Um, she has access to Mirabilia. She has access to Mill Hill. Um, she has access to a lot of things. Um, she has a thread on there where you can go on and tell her what you're looking for. And if she can get it for you, she'll... Uh, she'll try. So that's um that's really all I have. I was I watched my video from last month, the one that I just posted yesterday. I watched it yesterday, or I watched it this morning, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> I rambled a lot last month." This month, I don't I don't have nearly as much to say, but um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have as much to say, but hopefully this month there will not be any interruptions in my stitching in the middle of the month. Nothing will happen. Um, we're going to aim for 3,000 stitches. And uh, for Whipgo, you know, I don't... I don't make any effort whatsoever, frankly, to stitch the Whipgo calls in the month that they're called. If I do, it's almost purely by coincidence. Um, but this month, what got called was three things sampler and two FFO renaissance. That's clearly not going to happen because I haven't finished stitching it yet. But I might pull out the three things sampler. I don't. I don't know. I also want to try to pull out a stitch for sweet freedom and put some stitches on that. I was watching my video and I had intended to pull it out this month and I just ran out of time. Um, so I had posted a starting pick of it um, for one of the letters in Daily 30 and I ended up taking it down because I just ran out of time. So I would like to pull that out. Um, so that's really all I have. I hope you guys are having a great stitching month and I hope you have a great May and uh, Continue to pray for the Ukraine because the situation over there is just tragic. Um, and it's, it's really horrible. So let's pray for them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.